Hey Gems! Hi, it's me. I'm back again for another episode of Story Storytime. But first, let me give you a little life update. So I remember the past few videos, I was all alone in the room and I was like, do you want a room tour? Do you want a room tour? Yeah, guess what? I'm not doing a room tour anymore. But I have a new roommate and I'm going to be introducing her on the channel very soon. Yeah, so she's getting ready. Her name is Precious. Yeah, she's this very ambitious young lawyer so. and she loves country music like i love country music so that's and she doesn't think i'm weird that i took flowers by the window i think right okay yeah so hands are that so precious just waves waves them so yeah that's precious um so today i'm going to be reading um a story called bantu knots so bantu knots in bantu knots inkechi finds out that her secret lover larry was found dead in his apartment with a black thong around his neck, strangled. The police ruled it a suicide, but she's not so convinced. So the story kind of follows, you know, her trying to piece the past the last few days of her and Larry's interactions and, and whatnot. So I'm gonna read a bit of it and then after that I'm we're gonna chat. So this is going to be exciting. Um, you can read Bantu Notes, by the way. It was originally published on my African Literature and Book blog. So I will drop the link in the description. I went to Copper's house in the compound on the right-hand side of ours. What a surprise I stumbled on. Larry isn't cheating with the bank I share Copper, Queen. No, he's doing bondage play with an older woman. I noticed he sent her away quickly. Your my desire swirls around the room with the warm, dry air. <laughs> I spotted an inside out black thong with cream residue and missed the one foot bed sheet. A discarded condom in the tasty fried chicken I had left kind of mocks me. Crips notes in thick in a thick bundle of Nara next to today's newspapers confirm Nana's suspicions. Larry begins apologizing about the messy bed. He was having nightmares before I called him. <laughs> he wraps his hands around me, trying to kiss my neck. I have to go. It will soon be time to boil water for Ma's wheat and white soup. His baby pink lips press warm kisses to the hollow of my neck, and I ask, Why did he fight against trying kinky sex? But religiously searched for messes I'm in day for anal sex blue. Wasn't the 45k I'd given him just that August enough? I could have used that means to start selling makeup with Adobe on her makeup store on IG. I withdrew his palm from my small breast, stepping back. I walked out on his grave expression sil and silent eyes, opening and closing his mouth, unable to shout begging and answers to my retreating heaps. He looked like a catfish that I flopped out of the market seller's basket, screwing on the dusty concrete in vicious frenzy. I left him with his busty and naturally beautiful lover, who I'm sure he had hidden in the guest toilet beside the front net door. So why was she in my dreams, licking my pink lips? I don't have pink lips. Why can I hear someone go moan my name before she slaps someone on the bed beside me? In my dream last night, I dodged the slap. <laughs> I stared in wonder as the wetness pulled in between my legs. The next morning, I was spreading my washed baby pink silk nighty. I put the patch my square had marked a map of Nigeria up to face the sun. My bony fingers had just snapped on two yellow pegs when I overheard Mama Kofo. Sound please, repeating that the police investigation had ended. During the midnight, Bantinos would slap again, asking if Larry. Larry likes to use women or just me. If ain't pleading with gaps, in Kichi, you're hurting me. This isn't bondage play. When big brown impulse bounce across my face, reaching for something, squeezing, jerking it, grinding, orgasmic dance against me, my fingers grab a fistful of my yellow Egyptian cotton sheets. A tiny pool of tears are no longer on the pillowcase. Hanging in the wind. Yeah, so that's the end of the S script. And yeah, so that part from the very pivot, um, 
part of the story because it gets closer to like the climax from that. Um, if he wasn't dead by suicide, I mean, who killed him, right? Yeah, so that's just it. You can visit the blog to read it in full. Banter notes, there's a search column on the blog. You just type it in, Banter notes, and it pops right out. So it's like a thriller erotic story. And then you can also hit me up on Instagram. Yes, yeah, say hey. I drop links to both my bookstagram page and my personal account. Today on the vlog, I'm going to be talking about um, my life so far on law school campus. I'm also going to be talking about um, my November reads. So if you you know want to peek those and all of that, then you know the link below. If you liked. Um, this particular as script um, you should give this a thumbs up I'm saying too much, I'm too much give this a thumbs up yeah, like this and leave a comment so, shout out to everyone who's checked out the previous, you know, playful videos test videos and whatnot. I really do appreciate it and remember that you should stay hydrated you should stay positive and you should glow gem bye <laughs>